I was reading about auto mechanics and I was thinking, figuring out, you know, what's going on with the, all these high prices and with the auto mechanics, and all my bad auto mechanic experiences, you know, and what it is, I think, you know, I mean, this is it's like an estimated get, like a, a educated guess, I guess. And um, so what I think is like a lot of things, America started to uh, advance cars. You know, we started, when the first cars started coming out, they got these muscle cars and it's so cool. Everybody's got to get this Chevelle and the, the Nova and the Camaro and all that, right? And, um, so every guy had to get that muscle car, every guy had to get that Corvette, and they all had to, to, uh, learn how to work on cars, you know, that was like, the, that was the man thing, they had to do it. And so everybody's out to be a mechanic. I was saying, mechanics, was, well, there was like a high demand for engineers because we were industrial. We were like over industrial, right? I mean, we were mass produced. There was Sears, Roebuck, Ward Montgomery Ward. I mean, everybody's making American made things. And Ford and, you know, we're doing all that American stuff, right? <clears throat> and uh, so you got a lot of mechanics. Everybody knew, mother knew how to work on cars. And then you know, it started to change in the 90s. You know, guys were still working on cars. They were still advanced. They still had some cool cars. But then the 2000s hit, and, and everybody was getting pretty sick of it. And nobody wanted to learn about cars. Everybody was like, it, because of all the bad stuff, you know, everybody's getting starting to hate mechanics, hate cars. They break all the time. It just costs a fortune. So many car wrecks, get speeding tickets. Everybody's starting to hate it, right? It was just ridiculous. It's like, are they gonna, you know, cause they came up with so many car models, they like over did it, over designed cars, right? And then, so they, they, they peeked out how, how nice a car could be. And so then they started coming up with all this stuff we don't need, changing things around. Guys didn't want to have to relearn how to do anything. Nobody wanted to, to do anything. So now, we need about 250,000 mechanics each year to be trained, to to have, to meet the demand for mechanics. But we only have 45,000 a year. 45,000 instead of 250,000 a year mechanics. That's a big shortage. So that's what I read online. And so they're jacking their prices as high as they can because in a traditional economy, the markets work themselves out, you know, as people just walk on the guy prices, say, we'll go to the next guy because of competitive markets, right? Like if Burger King had their their hamburger at 10, but McDonald's had their hamburger at five, people definitely go to, to McDonald's. But when you got not a whole lot of, you know, and then, then you have the substitutes for Burger King, McDonald's, you have all the other hamburger joints you can always go to. But see, now we don't have that. You know, restaurants have that competitive market, but with mechanics, we don't got it. So it's not working. It's the traditional market's not working. Nobody wants to work on these cars. And then you got Elon Musk and all these electric cars people. Well, who's gonna work on them? They don't even wanna work on the normal cars. They're definitely, where are they gonna get the mechanics to work on these things they're advancing? They want, they want AI cars. Who the hell can work on an AR car? You know, they're gonna make a robot. So they have to make robots to work on. I suppose some very rich people will afford it. That's really dumb. That's where we're at. You know, everybody, they overdid everything. And um, they overdesigned cars. 
they, were, they peaked out like 98. I, I, I'd say the Corvette peaked out in about 98. So I'm guessing all the other cars did. If 98 wasn't like just some way to change around the 90, earlier 90s cars. But definitely in the 90s, you know, they peaked them out. <clears throat> the, the later 90s, early 2000s, 2005 maybe at the top. Some of the other cars kind of lagged behind, you know, but Corvette was always up ahead.